Hi, this is Pearl and welcome to my channel. Today I have a process video for you and I'm using the Coco Vanilla Midnight Kit. This kit is now available at a cherry on top and I will have the link down below. Um, so for this particular layout, I decided to use my Prima watercolors. This is the Pastel Dreams and I'm using the lightest pink there with just the watercolor paintbrush and I'm just scribbling all over the paper. I know that I'm going to use the 4x6 photo, so I want it to be bigger than the 4x6 photo, but I don't need it to cover everything, you know what I mean? So I am just doing scribble scrabble, and it just feels good just to slap some paint onto some paper. I want to do or learn how to do more mixed media, and I'll be taking you along on that journey. So as you can see here, I'm still painting and painting, and then I'm going to put the 4x6 in the middle of that. But while I let that dry, I am going to take some of the other scraps that I have and layer my photo. Now I'm going to put three pieces of different kinds of paper to layer it and this kit is gorgeous. And it comes with two sheets of each so that's great because I did a lot of fussy cutting and I'm going to have all of my layouts that I made and I did make a lot of layouts with this kit so you'll be seeing those in the upcoming videos. So I'm going to be layering my photo and the first layer that I'm going to be doing is the dark gray right there with the diamonds or jewels on there and I'm going to layer that and I'm using my One Canoe 2 date stamp to uh, make sure I get the right date on there. I will use my ATG gun to adhere that to the gray jewel to back up my photo. Then I'm going to use two other pieces of paper and I'm just randomly cutting them so that they kind of overlap but I'm not showing a lot of it because I just like to have it, I'm just kind of peeking through. Um, a lot of people ask me why do you do that and waste such beautiful paper but you know what I don't see it as wasting because I know what's behind there. So you'll see here that I'm going to uh, adhere to this uh, dark gray paper as well. And I'm using my Caterpillar Pro to cut this the cardstock and I love this paper trimmer. It's self sharpening, it's my favorite paper trimmer and I've tried a lot of trimmers in the 24-25 years that I've been um, scrapbooking. Now you'll see here that I'm using my Tombow Mono Multi Adhesive to adhere this photo to the paint and I'm doing that because sometimes the adhesion doesn't work from the ATG onto the paint because of the mixed media. I'm using some old pop dots that I have. Um, I don't know where these came from. I think they came from a scrapbook expo a long time ago. So, But my favorite uh, dimensionals are from Stampin' Up! and I'll have those linked down below as well. Now these this Family Moments title came from the kit or one of the embellishment packs that comes that I purchased uh, that goes with the kit and it's Family Moments and I'm using the pop dots to adhere to them. Here I'm showing you some of the other words that came with the um, words embellishment kit or pack. So I'm going to put the moments to the bottom of the photo. And after I do that, I'm going to be going through the embellishment kit. Now this is going to be a fairly easy um, layout. These are the cut-aparts that I did and I'm looking through them to see if there's anything I want to use from the cut-aparts from the cardstock. I decide I'm going to use part of the frame that came with the kit and I'm going to just cut portions of it. It didn't tear out well so you'll see I'm using my Tim Holtz scissors to make sure that the corners, the inner corners are um, clean. I'm using my crochet thread and I'm going to wrap that around a few times around one of the edges of the the frame and then I'm going to tie a bow and then I'll put that to the bottom right hand side of the photo to have that peeking out and then the other side I'll have peeking out on the top left of the photo and I'm going to be using my Tombow Mono Multi Adhesive to adhere that down because that's going to be going against the paint again. This is a great adhesive for anything that's um, paper or non-paper even so because it's a multi adhesive so it's great so I always make sure I have some of this my kids use this a lot too so and all of the products I mentioned I'll have linked down below so as I put this to the top left hand 
of the photo. I do like to have it tucked in. I do have challenges using photo frames, so you'll see that I usually tuck them under. Now I'm going through some of the chipboards that came in an embellishment kit, and I'm putting flowers into three corners, the top left, the bottom right, and the bottom left. And I'm tucking these under. I like to tuck under and over photos as well. And I'm going to be putting uh, foam dimensionals to the flower that's going to be on the bottom left hand side of the photo. You'll see that I'm going to pop that up. Then I'm also going to go look at the other embellishments that I have that came with this kit. And there's a flare that came and there's one that says bloom and grow. And I'm going to put that to the top left on top of the photo. So you'll see that there are dimensionals, there are three dimensionals, so that's the flare, the photo frame, and then the flowers and the words. Now you'll notice that all four of those embellishments all kind of touch each other, and that's how I like to have my embellishment clusters, so that they're all kind of touching. So I'm using my Tombow Mono Multi-Adhesive, and I'm going to add a little heart, and I'm tucking that right under the flower. So again, that's touching, so that all these um, elements are interacting with each other. Now I'm using my VersaFine Morning Mist stamp, and I love this ink pad because it's gray. And then I'm using a Zebra Sarasa Fine um, Felt Tip Pen to do my journaling, and I just wrote, love that these kids enjoy spending time together. So blessed. Then I'm going through my Nuvo Drops, and I'm going to be using my Nuvo um, Indigo Eclipse, and I'm going to put three dots to the three embellishment clusters, and then I call my layout done. These Nuvo drops are great. And again, I'll have all of the items listed down below. Thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoy this type of video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know every time I upload a new video, and I'll see you next time.